Hi everybody, Randy here again, aka CSDR23, getting ready once again to try again to see if I can beat Castle Wolfenstein. Now, of course, last night, or a couple nights ago, I was having some issues, and I blew up the castle and started a new one. So, let's resume. No, we're actually going to start brand new. Okay. So, let's talk turkey here. All right. There are a few ways to really accomplish this game. Some people just want to get out of the castle as quickly and easily as possible. Some don't even look for the plans, but they don't advance after a certain point if they don't get the war plans. Some people, like myself, pride themselves on killing every single guard in the castle to getting in and out as quickly as possible. Now, here's one of the things you used to, well, you didn't know, but I actually used to compete from a timing perspective on completing Castle Wolfenstein, killing every single guard. I did quite well. Now we're about to start again, and uh, here we are. All right. Let's get that gun out and kind of get ready here. And I'll choose. Now, for some reason in this game, this particular one, what happens is we have a thing where the gun tends to shoot. Oh, yeah. We got a double one. The gun tends to shoot an extra time. But. I know we know these are uniform vests since the last time we played. And there's no, these are grenades. Oh, one grenade, two grenades. Let's come back for this because we may end up having a grenade from one of these guards. So, no. Remember, it's always better to make sure you search every guard early for those keys. There's the uniform. All right. And yes, now we're looking like Donald Trump. Okay. Ha ha ha. No, I'm not laughing. Neither is the world. And neither is more than half the United States of America. Do you realize, folks, that more than half the people in the United States did not vote for Donald Trump and instead voted for Hillary Clinton? All right, let me rephrase that. More people voted for Hillary Clinton than did Donald Trump. The only difference is that in the United States we go by state now rather than actual votes, which is kind of dumb. And we're going to get his vest and we'll be in pretty good shape by then. And, and hopefully he's got some good bullets. And right now we're at eight bullets, three grenades, uniform, and a vest. We're just too short of, um, two, and, and two bullets in the plan short of, um, having what we need. Okay. And we have more uniforms. Okay. And... Okay. Well, I got word today from one of the Thunderbolt 5 gaming guys that they liked my video so far, and they uh, especially liked it when I called myself a Ben Don at the end here. Oh, I just got an SS man on my trail. Which way should I go? This way. Oh, is it going to need to run into you? I need to get that vest on this way. One of the interesting little glitches, but it was really became part of the gameplay because you actually had to move away from the guy and then you move into him rather than just figure out a way to get the vest off. You actually had to do it uh, funky doodle wise. Not a single swine hood, huh? Wow, you're not a very talkative guy. Now you're dead. All right, let's see what we can find in here. Hey. 
Yeah. Pretty safe way to shoot guys in that little setup. We this is a okay, here we are. This probably has bullets in it. And let's see. And just remember, if you blow up a castle, that castle is gone. Okay, it is gone, and you have, it has to regenerate a brand new castle. But like I said before, all castle maps are the same. You have the first floor, that's a 1. You have the second floor, that's 9. You have the third floor, 25. The fourth floor, 16. And I believe... The last floor is nine, because I guess they just got tired of making room. But we'll see what we got here. Let's go back here and go into this room over here. Yeah, as you can see, I am just not doing this right. All right. You think they'd hear the screams? You really do. You think these SS men would hear the screams, but they don't. No nope. bullets. Okay, almost blew up the castle again. All right, little serpentine action, huh? All right. Yeah, the um, K button on the keyboard was not working well. There it is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the work lens. Hmm, let's see. Nope. It's crap worst. I mean, brought worst. Uh, interesting how this game is probably going to catch fire now because, well, Trump is president and everyone believes him to be the second coming of Adolf freaking Hitler. All right, let's see what we are here. Let's go ahead and see what happens. What about you? Uniforms. Okay, let's see if you're on the plans. No, you're just another bulletproof vest. But if I hit somebody with a grenade and killed my uniform vest, I'd know exactly where to go. All right. Nothing in here to see. Yeah, I'm crazy that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been known to ha hold up more than one guard at the same time. Come on, oh, come on, oh, come on, oh, it's so funny. All right, let's see what happens. Well, we're in the meantime, waiting for that SS man to come down. We're going to come right over here and realize, okay, that guy was spoiled. I got to be careful because... This other guy's gonna come down first. Now I've just saved myself. The SS man cannot come get me. And let's see if he's gonna pace. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for him to turn the opposite way and stop. And caught him off guard. He should have been backing up, not walking away. What kind of an idiot is that? All right, let's see what we have in here. No, shoot. I'm too lazy to go and do anything else, so I guess I gotta sit here and wait. Or do I? Uh, I'm almost done. And war plans. Da -da 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 -da. War plans you to use. Should I get them? Should I get them? Should I get them? Maybe I have the plans. Uh -huh. All right. Now I have no bullets. What's in the chest? It's empty. Ooh. Now here's the funny thing. I can lose my bullets. Lose my bullets. I can lose my grenades. Because I can shoot off them both. I can lose my uniform and vest by throwing a grenade at something and knocking my uniform and vest off. But no matter what, I cannot lose 
go more planes. Now here's the best part. I do not have to go into a single chest the rest of the way. But I will kill every guard I see. We'll just wait for one to come up. And we're just gonna go as we need to go and kind of pick up bullets and keys. We don't need to, uh, guess it. This game is a little off. Okay. Yeah, this is really could cause some death, you know? Oh, yeah, the disappearing you. That is an interesting thing. When you're doing a charge and as you shoot and you're running over them, that is classic. And, oh, now see that time. The guy opened up the door before he walked through it. But the door opened up anyway. And I got some awesome, awesome, awesome gunplay there. All right. I'm sure my buddy Steven is laughing his butt off going, Oh, here's Randy getting all excited about guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is what I used to do. Okay. And this is killing Nazis. So, watch out. Here we go. Now that's some classic move right there. I had one on the left, one on the right, to over to the left, shot him, and then came back and put the gun right back on the SSD and got them both. Now that is classic, classic, classicness. All right, let's get back to the game. All right, we've got these two gentlemen to get. But I really wouldn't call them gentlemen. I mean, they are freaking Nazi guards, right? But now they're dead Nazi guards. You know, my condolences to their family. <laughs> well, what can I say? When you follow, you don't lead. And you are chicken. Don't you just love it when they pull that crap? Where they go, I'm going to just go in the other room and lock the door. And this guy's going way down the hall. And he must have been spoiled. Do you think he's spoiled? No, he just didn't want to use his bullets. He's either scared or he's thrifty. Oh, look, an empty room. Mm -hmm. I always wonder, like all the UHU rooms, you know? Because that's what the thing looks like. All right, seven bullets and a grenade. Now that is another move. That's where you're moving towards the wall and you shoot right before you hit. Kill the guard. Bam, pound into the wall. That is also some classic gameplay right there. Yeah, this is actually the kind of stuff you, see, you guys realize. This stuff is not even one kilobyte. I mean, you guys are used to having games that are gigabytes and gigabytes and gigabytes in size. This entire game was not even one kilobyte. These were bytes. Not kilobytes. And just for to let everyone know, a bit is one bit, obviously, of information. Eight bits is a byte. 1,024 bytes is a kilobyte. 1,024 kilobytes is a gigabyte. Now, and of course, there's a terabyte and yada, 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 and going up the line. I'm talking less than one kilobyte of programming here. And this stuff was programmed in binary. All right. I don't think they like that, but I was able to get away before I could get away. So, I had the gun and walked through again. Yeah, just to have a little fun doing some like some moving action. He was spoiled. What about you? I had one bullet and a grenade, so there wasn't much in that room. Okay. Hold it, Schweinhund. Hold it, Schweinhund. Now, remember, this is a double SS room, so I got to give room for two SS men to come through. So, let's say I both want to let him in, but I don't want to use a grenade to get around. 
So what do I do? Well, watch. See that upper left-hand corner of the room? Here we go. Now he's going to spoil him. Now that I got him frozen, the other one started moving. And you're spoiled. And I'm spoiled. And guess what I just happened to do to myself? I just happened to lose my uniform and my vest. Okay, now. I'm back in the mode of I have to find a uniform again. So let's see what happens. Now let's start looking for a uniform. All right. So. At least with the bolt proof vest, you can be up against the wall and hit a grenade, and then you will live. Otherwise, if you do not have a bolt proof vest and you do that, you will die. Very simple. There's a uniform, and I'm back in action again. All right, so we just need to find another grenade and a few more bullets and all that stuff. Yeah, let's get going here. We'll find one on the guard soon. Now I had to find the right spot based on their trajectory and where they were walking. So I wanted to... There we go. So I wanted to stand up against that wall and then I got my... Shots in and perfect. One shot apiece. And like I said, I've got the plans. I don't have to go into every room. I just choose to. And because I just want to give it a shot. But what I think I should do. Maybe I should save the game in case I die. Maybe I should. Now, this is one of those I really don't want to get in between the guards, but I want to get... That was dangerous, but nothing I do is not dangerous all right all right let's get back to the game here and we're going to the next line on the third floor to the right here how many people think i should save the game mm, let's save the game okay now i've saved the game and uh i guess we gotta do this number okay all right yeah, this is the old-fashioned apple. This is what you used to have to be able to do. There you go. Resuming where I left off. Okay, so this way if I die, I'll be okay. Now, back to life, back to reality. Okay. Some people say... I just kicked a field goal. I say I saved myself pain and heartbreak and allowed my viewers to actually see me possibly, potentially finish this game. I'll come back for you. I got old Essie down there. Now, I, you know, on the other, the sequel to this game is Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. And it was a bit of a different premise. And let's see what that SS man's going to do. Uh, 
Are you that much of a wussy? He is a wussy. And he spoils himself, shooting his gear. What a dumb SS man. Really? Why? I still got whoops. I better be careful in there. All right. All right, no Schweinhut moves there. Just hold it. So, what do I need to do? All right, you ready? Now, this is the one thing I have to do, too. Okay. I'm going to take one step back. So I took one step back so I could still get him without having to do any funky stuff. And now I'm okay. Now, like I mentioned before, you notice the body in the doorway right here. This one right down there. Okay, that is like that until I walk over it. And that is a glitch, and it is still a glitch in the actual redone version, which leads me to believe it's the exact same programming. Now, let's go ahead and put you out of your misery and kill you. You have no idea what's going on, and now you don't really care because you're dead. All right, next line of the room, let's start in four. Like when I shoot a guard and the other one starts getting really paranoid. I wonder why that is. Well, it doesn't matter because he's dead. And he doesn't need to know either. And this should be a... Now, I just shot an SS man. And even though he's dead, I'm putting on his vest. How about that, huh? What I should I want his vest? I mean, come on, seriously. I just put a hole in it. Oh, who cares? That is called a headshot. When you wait just for their head to come above the line and you shoot them in the head. That's why it's called a headshot. No, you think they were looking good? No. Okay. So here's the thing. The next line down would take you to the stairs. But what we want to do is go to the one after. Okay. So this is an S -man, SS man right over here. And he's got a little buddy with him. And just do a shot to get the SS man in gear. Let's see what he does. Now if we walk and have him hit the U. Let's see what he does. You button. There we go. He's, now see, now he's just walked off. Now I don't know if the SS man, SS man is spoiled. No SS. Yeah, SS man is spoiled. He announced it too, like basically saying, "Please don't kill me. I don't have any bullets, and now neither do I." Hmm. So I'm gonna do the old fashioned. And that's one way to do it. Now, this guard has have some bullets, hopefully. Let's see what he does. You got any bullets for me? You too, huh? This is why you carry grenades, folks. All right, don't worry. I'm not worried. I will get those grenades back. Many of these guards and SS men carry grenades on them, even though they never use them. Give me something. You give me something too. How dare you use the bullet on me? How dare I? That's eight bolts in a grenade, and he had two grenades. All right. You notice I went eight bolts in a grenade, and then it said one bullet in a grenade, because I had one bullet, and he had eight bullets. So that second time around, 
I got that second grenade he is. And then I could search one more time. And I got one bullet in keys. Now that was a shot and leave moment there. And we got like some more down here. And, and we'll get those lines out. And after that we will go back. Okay. Watch this move here. I gotta get some bullets, right? And there we go. We had some fancy moving around there. You see, folks, they had action in video games 35 years ago. And that wasn't too bad. But yeah. Now let's get going. So far, everyone killed. Now, usually if you go so far and you reverse steps, you will actually create an SS man. Did I do that? Mm, I don't think so. And those SS men that come because you've went backwards and forwards too many times are referred to as followers. They are created only by the game itself. Only by your gameplay. They are not created by... Uh, yeah, they are not created by the game itself. You create them by going back and forth. Alright, seven bullets and a grenade and let's just go. We are not coming back into this room because this is the second last room on the third floor. And see if he has more. He does not. Okay. And there are the stairs. He did not shoot. Don't let them touch your butt. And there you go. If they can touch your butt or touch either side of your legs, they can get you. You can go kapuski. All right. So once again, I will save. About to go on to the fourth floor. And here comes the saving. And once again, B run. B run. Castle Wolfenstein. This, like I said, now the B in front of the run stands for binary and if you were just running an applesoft or basic program or applesoft or an intra basic program you just say run but be run castle wolfenstein well and are you kidding me i think it got a little there we go i think a character went in there to actually didn't and here we are okay we are going to go into the fourth floor now. I am so excited. Are you so excited? Yeah, I can feel it through the monitor. Through the world wide web of phone. All right, here we go, folks. No essies. Shame, 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 shame. And you're oh, my goodness. Well, look what I've done. I have to wait for him to open up the door. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. But what I could do is this. Wait till he walks down. Watch. You know, I get him by the wall. I can throw a grenade on one side of the wall. And if the guard is right up against it. What an idiot. Oh, he locked it back. 
He was just checking to see if I was there. If I throw the grenade right where the guard is, like right there, I might kill him. But I didn't. But I did get a nice headshot on him. Now, how do I get in? That's how. You saw I used a diagonal grenade from here. And took the... And anyway, I'm not explaining. To shoot off grenades, you hit T. T is shoots off grenades. I guess for TNT. All right. So here we go. We'll go in. And that SS man did not catch me. Now, for some reason, the other ones are like, I want to play. Am I protected from that other guard? No, he can still get to me. Now he can't. I think that should do the trick. Bye. Like I said, that room there was... That's just a single room off to the thing. Now we're on the, the way out here. Now can I catch the SS again? Watch out. Watch out. Now, that's called, he was above me, and I was below him, and he shot me. And because I was below him and he shot me, he got me. It's, oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's try this again. This was, there was no lowercase and uppercase letters, only uppercase back then. Okay, well, we're going to have to do something else different here. All right. All right. So, let's see. Let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. And I died. And that means this video is over, folks. I was so close. I was, well, I wasn't perfectly close. But I was on the fourth floor. Well, folks, uh, once this goes all the way through, I will save this game so I don't have to do this the next time. But so much for that. One of these days, I'm going to get through this again. Hey, if I can get over 80,000 in Donkey Kong after all these years, I can definitely, definitely at least get a pass a corporal on Castle freaking Wolfenstein. Now, folks, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And just remember, I am CSDR23. I am the dad of Cuppy Rules 46. Why? Because she is twice the gamer that I am. Thank you guys so much. And you have a wonderful, wonderful evening and a wonderful day. And just remember to give this video a like. And if you'd like to, you can just slap that subscribe button with the grenade. Bye. How long was that? 33 minutes.